Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. Will you take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, yeah. never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm on my last legs, man. What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye. What? Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. The scene Goodbye. probably wouldn't Sister. happen if I didn't donate to the church and all that stuff. A little bit of payoff. A little bit. So I can either go to... Oh, reservation or Charles? Gonna continue my hunt with Hamish. Hamish. Yep. Okay. All right, Hamish. I am back to continue our adventures. I am back. It's about that time, right? <laughs> Fuck me. Just a moment. Just a moment. Hamish. Arthur. Come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? 
Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you into war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. <sighs> Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Stop there. Didn't bring my hunting rifles. You at home? I got the horses. Come on. I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. Traps go this way. Come on. It's two. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Do I gotta follow you, or what's up? Big shit. He's been across here twice. What'll we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right, and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck. Sir. Thank you. Yeah. What's that? He gored a wolf? Oh no. Amish, hey, don't you die on me. No! God! Hey, Mish. <laughs> I got thrown and a bastard hog got me. <sighs> Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may no. be stubborn. <laughs> but he's strong. Ugh. Amish. Motherfucker. Up here. Shit. <sighs> we 
got him, old man. That is a big bar, man. Holy shit. Trophy husk? <laughs> So sad. Yo. Oh, fuck me. Let me get this off, you girl. Let's go. I'm yep. so sad. <laughs> Can't even rename her, can I? That'd be very wrong. And I wonder, in terms of stats, how does Buell compare to the elite horse? It's certainly big, isn't he? That guy was dead. Feeling, ma Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. What was I miss? More this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? been a thorn on my face. Ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Come on. 
on, come on. Hey! I say thank you but I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up would you join me for a meal it's the least I can do amongst other things other activities I'm really surprised I haven't hooked up with anyone yet this game Rob, you blind. The weather in this game just turns on a dime. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it after all. <laughs> Bon appetit. Oh. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. There's just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, me? sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <clears throat> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. <coughs> Just need a quick power nap. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Not the hat I came in with. Is that it? Hope she doesn't die hunting. Because that would be very depressing if she did. Mule! Harvest that rat. Would be the fastest way. It's, I think just riding there would be the fastest way. Okay, Charles. 
Idiot. This is legendary caribou country. Gotta pick up the trail. Should I try to find this thing? Yeah, let's try to find this thing. Yep. Dear God, that was quite, quite the track. I actually took the train tracks, went through a very large, dark tunnel in the mountain. I was scared. All right, Charles, what's up, dude? Arthur. Hello, Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, Hello. he's, uh, he, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? No, oh, yes, he's about yes. to die. Oh, okay. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Sure. Always with the shurs. He's dying, isn't he? Hello? Come in. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Yeah. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's Dad. dead a long time. He yeah. lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. He doesn't mean well. That's the problem. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. 